Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at Sisterhood of the Blood from 52 Ravens. Now, what is this deck? Um, it started off as a Kickstarter project. Okay, and you might remember, I actually did the review for this a while back. I'll put the link for that below. Uh, I don't know how much different the prototype review was uh, from this one. The two are very similar, almost identical. Um, this is a custom designed deck of poker sized cards uh, that all centers around vampires, uh, specifically female vampires. Uh, this was designed by 52 Ravens and printed from the expert playing card company. The theme of this deck is based on uh, London vampires from the Victorian era. Um, you might remember 52 Ravens had a previous deck called the Coven. Uh, and so this deck features an all-female cast of court cards, and each of them have a different story to tell, but when they come together, they are the Sisterhood of Blood. <laughs> the front of the tech case is very ornate, very gothic, lots of Christian iconography, and lots of cathedral-looking artwork, as well as a very scripty font. It does say the Sisterhood of the Blood, and Volume 1 underneath that. Both of the sides of the tuck case say the Sisterhood of the Blood. The bottom has some ad copy, about 52 ravens, and the top has some ornamentation and original tuck seal. The tongue flap is nice and thick, and it does have some ornamentation. And then if you look inside, there's a whole bunch of red blood spatter, which is pretty darn cool. The back design of the tuck is the back design of the cards, and that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the Expert Playing Card Company, and they have a nice snap to them, they have a nice feel to them, but they are not as thick as they feel. Uh, if I take uh, the caliper and measure 10 cards, I use 10 cards as my base, so I measure all my decks uh, with 10 cards just to get an idea of how thick they would be and what kind of deck they would feel like uh, if you wanted a, a measurement. Uh, these come out to 2.82. 2.82 is about middle, about middle grade stock. Uh, the Sons of Liberty uh, were the same thickness, the knock cards, and the auto bike reprint that United States Playing Card Company put out. As you can see, the back design is very ornate. You got a super, super, super thin um, border there, which makes for great uh, fans. And then you just have all kinds of uh, just gothic and uh, just old Christian iconography uh, surrounding this. It's really cool. You have these two striking colors of the kind of burnt umber brown and the blood red coming together on this like parchment background. So there's no white on this deck. Even the faces of the cards uh, aren't white on the face. It's that burnt parchment to make this look really old, gothic, and vampiric. All right, so since this is a 52 Ravens deck, your jokers are a diptych that is a raven formed out of spilled blood. Like I said earlier, the court cards, they're all female vampires, and each one of them has a different name and backstory. You're gonna see their name printed along the side, and I heard that backers would even get a little PDF that would kind of um, let them in on who uh, these girls were and what their stories were, um, even while they were alive and you know, now that they're dead. Um, so alongside of this, each of the groups also have a theme, okay? So the jacks uh, in this deck, they've all just been fed. The queens are reveling in their malice and the king's immortality is coming to an end. So even though this is a custom deck, when 52 Ravens was designing this, they still wanted to make this usable and easy to read. So a lot of the things uh, that are familiar for you in a standard deck of quartz, you're gonna have in this as well. So you'll still have one-eyed jacks and you'll still have the suicide king. Each one of the aces has a unique look in that it has a larger and more custom designed pip in the center. Also, you'll see from the pips and indices, uh, they are all completely custom. They have an original layout, original font in the corner, and then there's this beautiful watermark just hiding behind uh, the center layout. The tweaked pips follow a standard position, but are slightly smaller, and the layout is condensed compared to a standard deck of cards. Other than that, you will get one gaff card, which is a double backer, which is great for magic. All right, so that is my review of the Sisterhood of the Blood deck from 52 Ravens. As always, we ask that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash metricorthodoxy, twitter.com slash metricorthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. And if you need more content, you can always find it at magicorthodoxy.com. Thanks. Bye.